Yeah, hey guys. So here is the quick email invitation that I promised that we would share. This is for uh, seeding your site, S-E-E-D-I-N-G, getting your uh, first members uh, to sign up for your launch. Yeah, hey guys. So here is the uh, first email that we send out to seed the site. This is the pre-launch uh, email. So if you're launching a directory or putting together an authority site of any kind where you need members, uh, one of the most effective ways of doing that is to send an invitation via email. You can actually call. I mean, there's a number of different things you can do, but one of the easy kind of passive things that you can do so you're not calling people is just send an email. So here is uh, an example of an email that we sent or that I had somebody send for me uh, back in April to test this new Mighty Networks uh, community called Bodhi Tsafa. Uh, and essentially, it's a uh, an invitation. So you're actually similar to if you were asking people to uh, list themselves on a directory. In this case, we were just asking them to do a interview that would be featured on the community. So uh, to make this really simple, and you can download this PDF, this invitation, rewrite this around your own uh, needs or your own content, your own community, your own everything. All right, so you can get that at the link below, but here is the essential piece of it. So we asked these people, they're, they're strangers. We, you know, identified that they were in the niche that would be relevant to this, which is a social community of enlightened entrepreneurs, light workers, yogis, meditation teachers, authors, you know, people who, again, self-identify as doing healing, spiritual service sorts of work in the world. Right. So and that's also partly why the community is named this, because this word bodhisattva means the awakened one or somebody who um, delays their own you know, enlightenment for the purposes of helping others. So that was also an important piece of this. You know, how you name your community does matter. How you name your directory does matter. Typically, in my view, anyway, a website what you name it is really not all that important, but for these kinds of sites, uh, to me, it is. All right, so let's just really quickly look at these questions. Again, you can download this and read this at your leisure. Uh, who are you? What do you do? Who do you do it for? What do they need? And how do their lives change when you do what you do best for them? So essentially, I was asking these five simple questions. Uh, of people who got this invitation. They didn't get a PDF. They got this via just a standard you know, email. Um, and out of the 100 or so people that filled it out, or I'm sorry, out of the 100 or so people that we mailed this to, about 20 uh, responded. I think it was like 14 actually answered these questions. Uh, some of them did a pretty shitty job, to be honest with you. I wasn't really pleased with some of the responses. They were a little wacky, you know, people talking about all sorts of just bizarre, you know, uh, end of the world style stuff, which kind of was a little shocking. But nonetheless, I mean, one of the, as a quick side note here, you do get some nutty people or some interesting people with some interesting perspectives when you're working in the you know, quote unquote, spiritual services niches. Um, but we got a good response. I mean, that's, you know, 15% response on a direct mail piece uh, of any kind is, is great. And it's very scalable. I mean, there are thousands of people that we could replicate that uh, invitation process with and really seed our community, um, you know, really effectively that way. Uh, and of course, these were all, and I framed this as a pre-launch because people were going to come to this community and see there was no members. So I wanted them to understand that the community hadn't launched yet. So they didn't find that to be a turnoff. I'm sure some did anyway, thought that there was, you know, too few, uh, it was too sparsely populated to be appealing. All right. So here's another thing I did. I included a 
uh, a longer audio interview that I did with a somewhat well-known uh, teacher in the meditation space in California. So this is another site. And basically, they could just click on that link and hear me uh, interviewing somebody at length. Uh, again, this was a text-based thing, so it was a very simple ask. Here is the, you know, the community. And here I included my uh, Facebook link, which typically I am less uh, thrilled about doing because they don't really need to know about me personally. They're strangers at this point. But I decided in lieu of the fact that it was a brand new community, that there's not a lot of, um, you know, there weren't a lot of members. There still aren't. We really haven't done much with this. There's about 40 members as of this writing or this recording. It's June. But it, that's not because the interest isn't there. It's because other more pressing projects and priorities are at play. Um, yeah, so I included my Facebook uh, stuff just so people could see I'm a real person. And, you know, in addition to this interview here, which indicates I'm a real person, they could see me visually and get a feel for who I am in the world, uh, which definitely worked as well because I got a number of Facebook requests, uh, friend requests after uh, sending this out as well. All right. The other thing that you obviously can do is use analytics. If you have basic Google analytics, I use get clicky or clicky.com, but you can see if you're sending an invitation out in your local community, or, you know, in this case, it was going to a, a specific state. I think we started with Colorado. I could see on the website that uh, you know, all of a sudden we're getting a lot of visits from Colorado. So clearly people who were getting this invitation via email were certainly interested uh, to learn more. Their, their interest was, um, you know, there. It was, it was uh, you know, I'm saying this badly, but what I'm trying to say is if no one responds, if you get no traffic after sending one of these out after a few hours, you know that you need to rework your letter or you need to rewrite it or you need to rework the offer or whatever it is. In this case, by dint of the analytics, I could see that at least people were interested enough to come check out the content and the community and you know what they did from there. Uh, was what they did from there. So, all right, again, you can download this and use it for your own projects. Certainly it can be improved in a lot of ways, but it's a template that is, is effective. And I've used some variety of this in everything from local directory launches to uh, national or even international uh, you know, communities. And it does seem to work well. All right. Thanks so much. And you can download it at the link immediately below. Thanks.